Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, well, you know who I am because the thing that's right before this video says who I am. Anyways, uh, we're going to start building the frame and uh, I'm going to start by kind of hacking some stuff. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do and why I'm going to do it. Uh, just kind of trying to get some stuff out of the way and a couple other little things that I'm going to be doing before we actually start putting the frame together. Uh, either way, I'm not going to ramble all night long, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to end up hacking off the frame uh, somewhere over here because you can kind of see where it's lined up right now. So. I'm gonna hack that off maybe over here somewhere right right along here and just hack that whole front off just to get it out of my way and have a little bit more room and thinking space and all that stuff uh, the other thing that's gonna happen is you see how wide the frame is there which it's about uh, I believe it's two and three quarter inches um, so that's that frame is going to end up running right through here so what i'm going to end up doing is uh, cleaning off all this metal right here and i'm going to weld all in here and then i'm going to end up cutting off right here on both sides that way it leaves room for the new frame to come up into here so that's the first things I'm gonna do here is just literally hack off the frame you know like I said somewhere over here whatever if I stand back a little bit here you can kind of see that if I hack it off right there I want eventually when I start to really fit the frame I want that to be cut on a curve like that so it matches that and uh, so that's what we're gonna start off with right now I'm saving that piece that I just cut off because you'll see later on. Uh, so these are the cab mounts right here. I'm just going to uh, clean them real quick so I can weld them, like I said. So after doing a little bit of measurement, uh, measuring from uh, how thick this subframe is and where it's going to sit along the outside of here, I definitely have to cut this motor mount, I mean the cab mount off uh, and you saw that I welded here. So I was anticipating that I had to cut some of this off. So it's curved right here. And I'm going to cut it straight across at the curve. And then I'm going to grind off these rivets. I'm going to cut it straight across here. Grind off these rivets. Take this piece out. And that's going to give me the room to be able to slide this subframe up here. Also, uh, the camera angle kind of stinks. But right in front of this cab mount is where I'm going to cut the rest of the frame off. Earlier I had just hacked it off just to make some room and try and find some measurements, but 
after measuring twenty six inches from here to the center of the axle and then looking at what i got to do here i'm just going to go right beside this cab mount and cut the frame off right there and get rid of that and that should do that should make it the way we need to make it to put the subframe in so also i'll have to cut the subframe out to fit in the frame but i'll show you that in a few minutes so what we're going to do now is get this cut off get this cut off on both sides and then we'll go from there all right so i hacked off the bottom of the cab mount which i had welded on top earlier because i knew i was going to cut off some i thought i was going to be able to save these two rivets but that's uh not what's happening so later on i'll clean it up and weld it all the way around um but that's not what i care about right now it's just trying to get this subframe fit on there i also hacked off the frame right here to where it really needs to go so i'm just going to go ahead and duplicate the other side all right so i got the other side cut off and i just laid the frame on top of the frame that is not how it's going to be like i said this part of the flat frame right here is going up here and uh so you can see how much lower we're making the frame that way uh, anyways um so right now i think uh i have it in place um where i had mentioned before i need the 26 inches to the center of the axle um so i do have it in place right now so what i'm going to do right now is double check my measurements before i do anything and then I'm going to scribe a line in here so I can cut off uh, the piece off of this subframe so the original frame can sit in here. Um, so I'm going to scribe a line uh, all the way down on both sides and across here on both sides. And then uh, I'll cut all that out and we'll squeeze the frames together. All right, so I made my marks where I want to cut the frame. I got it cut and put in place, and right now that's what it looks like. Um, so this is the front Nova subframe right here, and this is the original frame. You can see a little bit of gap right there, or not gap, but how it widens out. Later, I'm going to box this so you can't ever tell that there's two different frames put together um, but anyways I'm really liking the way it looks right now so we're gonna take it all back apart uh, get all the metal cleaned off so it can be welded and we'll put it back together all right so before I start cleaning off the metal and getting ready to weld it there's a couple other things we're gonna do we're gonna hack this off which is where the original front bumper on the Nova was we're going to hack this off on both sides right here because uh, we definitely don't need that. And I'll do some kind of finishing thing to it later when we, well, whatever. You'll see that part. Um, so we're going to cut those off. We're going to cut these body mounts off. These were for the Nova before. We don't need them. Cut them off. Grind them flat. Same on the other side. And I've already cut this side. You can see where that's just one flat piece of metal now all the way across. Uh, this side, if we look down here like this, you can see that ridge. So we're going to cut this piece off. We don't need it to weld it on the bottom of the other frame. So we're going to get rid of this, just like I did on the other side. Um, we're going to do that right now. We're also going to get rid of <clears throat> this transmission cross member. This is the original one. Uh, that's in my way, I don't need it there, so we're going to cut it out. But before I cut that out, I'm going to weld a brace uh, across the frame right here, across. And that's going to make it so the frame doesn't spring away from each other when I cut this off. So uh, that brace will be a temporary brace, and I'll cut that back out after the frame is all welded together. 
So let's start cutting.